I'm Dr. Randy Case from Moore Spine and Sport, and today I'm going to talk briefly about concussions or traumatic brain injuries. So here at Moore Spine and Sport, we are sports chiropractors, but concussions are not really isolated to sports. So you can get a concussion by hitting your head on a cabinet in the kitchen. You can get a concussion by hitting your head when you're getting in your car, falling off your bed. So basically any injury to the head that causes the brain to kind of slosh around in there. So the head will hit something, but the brain keeps moving, causes an injury, causes like a little bruise. Mm -hmm. And it can be very mild or it can be very severe. So we look for symptoms when somebody, say you're playing soccer and someone gets hit in the head, we look for symptoms like shaking the head, um, being a little, looking a little off, like they got their bell rung. So that's the first clue. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you have to rule out red flags. So if somebody goes down, we have to attend to that first, right? Airway, breathing, circulation, yeah, yeah. all of that stuff. Um, but if they get up, then we can do, there's a couple of different things, right? We take them through some balance testing. Yeah. Um, we look at cognition. Mm. Do they know where they are? Yeah. Do they know what half yeah. of the game it is? You know what, what team they're on or what the score is, stuff like that. Um, right. The thing with athletes when they get concussions is they don't want to come out no matter how bad the concussion is. So they'll, try to, tr they'll try to trick us, um, yeah. but we have ways of assessing that and being thorough with it. Um, from when I was a kid versus now, the concussion research has just come like so far. Right. Like I've had three concussions in my life, all from playing hockey and mm -hmm. um, thinking about how fast I was returning to my sport or going back to school compared to what it is nowadays. There's, there's such like a process to it, like step by step that you have to reach certain goals to get to where the right. next step is. Um, and uh, you know, a lot of people don't understand that and they maybe rush back into something and their grades are affected, their athletic performance are affected, or worse, they can get another concussion too early, which um, can cause double impact syndrome, which is which is very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. So, right. Um, you know, we're very thorough with that. We take it very seriously. Um, the last thing we want to do is send somebody back too early, right? Um, and cause more damage. Yeah. So. so I definitely agree with you that a lot of the seasoned athletes, if they go down, you know that they've hit their head, but they'll get up and they'll go two, four, six, eight. Um, it's the game and I'm ready to go back and you really have to be able to evaluate them. So we use a, the SCAT 6 now and we use a SCOPE 6 in the office, which is a really thorough, comprehensive evaluation. And we can use that to grade their improvement. So when we're formulating return to play or return to school protocols, we can use that to kind of um, determine when they've reached different steps. Um, we also used to think that if you get a concussion, you kind of lock yourself in your room and no TV, no lights, um, you know, you really didn't do anything. They don't really do that anymore. So now they want you to kind of lay low for 24, maybe 48 mm -hmm. hours, but they want you up. You know, yeah. we want you to get up. We want you to move around. So we want you definitely to make sure that the muscles around the neck and the head don't get stiff. Um, so, you know, eating well. Mm -hmm moving well, sleeping, you know, we want to make sure that all the activities mm -hmm. of daily living yeah. are coming back Absolutely. before you even get back on the field or get back to practice. Yep. Makes sense. Yep. And uh, it's also interesting that, um, you know, when you have an injury to the brain, just like you have, if you have an injury somewhere else, like you want the, the cerebral spinal fluid and everything like to replenish the oxygen and everything around the brain that helps you heal faster and, mm -hmm. you know, with certain types of exercises. Um, and even chiropractic adjustments help with that. Uh, the research yes. shows that that helps yeah. circulate everything better. So yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot more research now yes. that yes. shows that the neurologic cascade that happens with the chiropractic adjustment is actually beneficial for all the nervous tissue and yes. the rehab. Yeah. yeah. So if you think that you've had a concussion or have a concussion, or you know someone who has a concussion, re definitely refer them to the chiropractor for evaluation. Um, and we'll take good care of you. We'll get you back in school, we'll get you back on the field, and back to all the things you love to do. So like us, subscribe. share us, subscribe, follow, follow. <laughs> check out our website, check out our YouTube channel, and make your appointment.